Oh, hi. Welcome to Dragon Storm Studios. I didn't see you there. You caught me looking through an old sketchbook from last year. And these are great. I love going back and seeing my old work. But there's a problem because very often you do get these awful messes on the other sides of pages. And the previous page comes through and actually it ends up you know, ruining that previous piece of work there. So the back is all covered in graphite. In fact, sometimes, even worse, over time, if the sketchbook's moved around a lot, sometimes that, that image, that, that smudging, ends up ruining the work on the previous page. If the page has moved around a lot, I find that happens worse in these sketchbooks with the, the rings on them. So how do we get around that? Well, funnily enough, this year, uh, in fact, maybe even about a month ago, I discovered a new way of making life a lot easier, and that is using a fixative. We've moved our operation outside. We are in a breezeway, which is a, an area which connects the house and garage. It is ventilated, uh, although it is February in Canada and therefore kind of cold. So in, I could go out and buy a fixative from an art store and spend a lot of money, or I could spend $2.67 on some hairspray, hashtag not sponsored. And this stuff here is great. All it does is it reduces the amount of smudge from the graphite. I try and keep the nozzle about one foot away. It's hard to tell distance when I'm zoomed in like this, but I'm about a foot away from it. And I'm just gonna give it a blast of the hairspray covering everything. Now you might get some little splatter dot effects here and there. Don't worry, those will fade, I find. Um, I don't think it pays to be too cautious, but I always am a little bit more cautious than I need to be, even though I've done this quite a lot now recently. So we're gonna give it about 15 minutes to dry and then we'll give it a second coat and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so it's starting to get a little bit dark outside, but we've done our first coat of the hairspray and we can see that it is still producing some smudge. Now, if it was uh, a much lighter picture, I wouldn't bother with the second coat, I wouldn't need it, but because there's so much dark in the Godzilla picture, it's gonna need a second coat. So let's give her a second coat, about one foot. About there and just kind of give me a second the last of the fixative. All right, we'll give it 15 more minutes and see how it turns out. All right back in studio warm and uh, with our art drawing you can see that you still get there's still a little bit of smudging that occurs not a whole heck of a lot though the difference is just amazing. Now two things important to note number one this is not a cure-all uh, if I go back in this sketchbook, a couple of pages, we can see the Cara Dune picture. We did end up with a little bit of, of smudging still, despite the fact that some hairspray was used there as a fixative. You still have a little bit of smudging here and there. So it's not a perfect fix-all, fixative, fix-all, uh, but it does greatly reduce the amount of smudging. The second thing is that once you've applied that fixative, it's really hard to make any adjustments to make any changes to the picture, but more, more importantly, it's hard to erase as well. It's hard to get rid of material. Um, adding things you still can do, but the pencil, the graphite doesn't, doesn't adhere to the paper quite as well. So something to be aware of, you want to really make sure that it's your final step applying that fixative. So I hope you found that useful, helpful. Um, it's certainly something which uh, you'll definitely be using to reduce the smudge and it's fairly cheap as well, which is really nice. Hope you have a fantastic day and hope that was helpful and have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.